Hi, I'm Alexi. Welcome to Alexis Guitars. I want to share with you in this video my guitar finish polishing experiment where I try different techniques to try and polish this guitar top up and make it look a bit nicer. So for those of you that don't follow my channel, I cover quite a lot like guitar gear reviews and demos, but I also do guitar mods and DIY projects, including guitar building. I made this guitar body in August 2020. It's a Douglas fir back with, I believe, an oak top. This is the second guitar body I've made and I made a few mistakes when I was doing it. I learned a lot and that's why this is the perfect guitar to experiment on. And that's because I like the guitar a lot. It plays and feels great. So if I do polish this up and it turns out nice, that's a win. But if anything goes wrong, there's already a few little mistakes in this, so it's not gonna be a huge deal. I finished this guitar with the Crimson High Build Guitar Finishing Oil. I really like that product. It's nice and easy to apply. The results are great and it feels so nice. Now onto the reason why I'm doing this video. Directly after applying the oil, so when it's all nice and wet, it looks fantastic. Once it dries, it's this dark brown color. It's a bit subdued. I must say it looks a lot better in person than it does in ca uh, on camera, but it's a little bit boring. I know I'm not gonna achieve a high gloss finish on this guitar with some polishing products, but I do wanna see if I can bring some life back into it. I went to my local hardware store and bought a couple products to test out on the guitar. This here is a furniture restoration oil, and the person I spoke with said that this should bring out a nice shine. At the back here on the label, it says that it's meant to bring the beauty of the wood back and it's meant to feel really nice to the touch. The second product I was interested in getting was this furniture wax. According to what's written here, I meant to apply a thin layer, let it dry, and then with a polishing cloth, really rub it in to buff it up. So I'll start with the furniture restoration oil. If that doesn't give me the result I'm after, I'll try out the wax. With all the hardware removed, now it's a great chance to take a look at the top and all the figure in the grain before I apply the oil. The application of the oil was super easy. I just put it onto an old t-shirt, wiped it on the guitar and watched the top come to life. Once you apply it, you just leave it for about 24 hours or until it's touch dry and that's it. Nice and easy. The furniture oil was a success. I'm really happy I gave it a go. It's done exactly what I wanted it to, which is bring this piece of wood back to life. Beforehand, it looked dull and dry, but this oil has really freshened it up. You can see all the beautiful rays, all the nice figuring, all the depth to the top, which beforehand was there, but not quite as apparent as it is now. Now, it's been about two or three days. It took a little bit longer than 24 hours to completely dry, but after 24 hours, I took a photo of the side of the guitar where you can clearly see where I have applied the oil and where I haven't. And I think you can really see the difference in that oil there. Since that photo, I did the sides and the back, which is partly why I've left it three days since the first application. But I think I can go that one step further and give this furniture wax a go. I'm really curious to see what effect this has, so I'm gonna apply some on the top. This is my first time using furniture wax, and I'm really surprised how easy it is. All you have to do is put on a thin layer. I used a little bit too much here, but you spread that thinly across the whole body, and then just leave it for about half an hour for it to dry, and it will look a little bit milky. Once it's dry, you get a soft cloth or an old t-shirt and really buff it up. And just to be extra thorough, I used this polishing pad on my hand drill. Applying the furniture oil and then the wax polish really gave it a nice shine and you can see all of the intricacies in the wood. All of the rays, all of the depth, all of the figuring, it's all popping so much more than before. And in this shot you can see just how effective that polishing really was. So before I put the guitar together, I thought now's a great opportunity just to pay some attention to the neck. Here I am using a nail buffing pad just to polish up the frets a little bit. 
and here I am using my Dremel with some polishing compound just to finish it off. This was super effective but the polishing compound went everywhere so if anyone has any tips how to do this neatly please let me know in the comments below. I don't know what wood the fretboard is made of but it was looking a bit dry so I used some lemon oil as you can see here and then I just rubbed it all off. And the neck is looking better than ever.